to another top 10 here on my channel and today we're going to look at my favorite video games of all time at the moment <laughs> uh, this is what these games is basically here the ones I have had most fun with during my lifetime and that is the way I'm going with this list just the ones I had most fun with some of these games is here for the storyline some of them are mostly here for the time spent and the fun you had with that. So yeah. Number ten are going to be The Sims 2. The Sims 2 is the second uh, title in the Sims series. Uh, wait a minute. <coughs> Music screaming. Sorry for that. I didn't hear a sound, so what we'll see. Uh, the Sims 2 is the uh, second game in the Sims series, uh, and the first I actually played. Uh, I don't have it at the moment, uh, it is for the PC, uh, I sold it because I thought I would actually play Sims 3, which never happened, so, well, uh, several hours were spent on that game and that is why it is on this list, and one of my favorites. Number 9 are going to be, this one I actually had, Saints Row 4. Basically, because of the fun you have with it, it is basically a parody of other games and some and the gameplay and everything is just fun. Uh, what can I more say? What can I say more about this game? This game is just fun to play. It is everything feels amazing when you play it. Uh, of course, it's a shooting game, but it is fun anyway, and it's. And many people say this is a silly game, and it isn't as fun as, the, as GTA. GTA, I understand they are very similar in some ways, but this is purely for fun, and that is why it is my top in my top ten. Yeah, number eight. I'm going to be another game. I actually have. LA Noir. This game is basically on the list because of the storyline and the gameplay. Uh, I really, f it was one of the funniest games I actually played and uh, I got it, I think about it, or I guess maybe it was a present, I can't remember. Uh, it was one of my first games actually on the Xbox 360, uh, the newer one, I have an old one that I sold and didn't play on basically so I got got a newer one and this was one of the first games I actually played on it. Uh, it is really fun, really great storyline and have just amazing city to explore in the well, it's 1950s, 1940s actually in Los Angeles and really fun to just play and look around in the city. Just amazing. Number seven, I think it is. Yes, the it is the leg Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time. I don't have it because it's an old game. Uh, the last time I played it was on the GameCube, and also the entire GameCube at the moment. Uh, basically, uh, it was because I played it a lot with friends, and it was really fun. I never finished it, so. Amazing, but several hours were spent on this game. Every time we started up the game, we started a new save file, and it was just fun playing it. And even if we wanted to finish it sometime, it never happened. But we had fun anyway. We had fun playing it. Uh, I haven't really gotten the feeling that Ocarina of Time gave me in the other Zelda games. Maybe the newest one that will be released later. Maybe this year or next year, I don't know. But Ocarina of Time is at the moment the better one. Number six is also based on how much I've played with friends and everything. Disney Sports Soccer. <laughs> Maybe it's a sports game with Disney characters and it was... I um, basically have this as one of my favorites because we played it a lot, a lot. We challenged each other to play these goals, and sometimes it was just even, so even that we, yeah, it was just fun fighting with each other on the 
with a, a soccer game in soccer games or no uh, football plan in English soccer field maybe something like that but it was one of those amazing fun games that you could play with your friends and spend several hours, uh, several hours on uh, the last time I played it I don't know it was on the GameCube as well uh, so yeah really fun game number five I'm going to be based on the storyline and everything Assassin's Creed 2 uh, the that one that one this is the double pack with the first and the second game but it is the second game that I actually have as one of my favorites uh, I was introduced to this franchise with my friend when he played or showed me Brotherhood and I bought Brotherhood and after that I was stuck in this franchise and is still loving it to this date um, the second one is in my opinion the uh, standout best of the ones of all of them uh, it stands out because it had the it was so much more to do than the first one and it had much more uh, much better storyline than the other games it had much more likable characters and it was just more a fun game to play it was the mechanics game mechanics made it interesting to play it made it just amazing I can't really tell it anymore because it was a long time ago I played it uh, even though I wanted to play it again I haven't done it because of the time I don't have the time at the moment at one point I want to play through all of them again to see if the second one is still one of my favorite in that series but it probably is yeah number four I'm going to be Mario Kart 64 I yeah. Mario Kart 64 is as the other uh, as Disney soft both sports soccer and what's the other one so Ocarina of Time we played a lot with friends it was really fun game uh, uh, racing and everything fighting each other on the, on the field on the racing track and yeah just fun to play with friends but several hours spent on that game number three are going to be super smash bros melee if i remember correctly it was on the game cube maybe I think it was uh, a really fun game with <laughs> a game with friends. Even though you could have played it yourself, it was also fun with the storyline and everything, the campaign you call it, to look up some characters and everything. Uh, it was just a fun game. Uh, when Super Smash Bro Me Bros Brawl come out, it wasn't as fun as the melee one because. Yes, the uh, graphics and everything was better on the Wii and everything, but the GameCube melee was much, much more fun, better with friends, and everything felt just much more interesting. Hopefully, the next Super Smash Bros. coming from Wii for the Wii U is as fun as the melee one. Number two, we are coming up to the finish line. It's actually a really new game, Super. Mario 3D World. This game, when I first played it, was just amazing. The graphics, the gameplay, everything. Uh, this is one of my favorites because of the difference. This is somewhat different from the other Mario games. And in the other way, uh, the story isn't that you should save the princess, that is Peach. This time you have saving basically fairies and everything is in 3d you will kind of run around in circles and everything is just interesting and fun this is an amazing game i haven't finished it yet uh, the storyline or the first playthrough but at the moment it is the second one of my second favorite game of all time at the moment so 3d world and now to the first one. This one, uh, well, it was a really long time I played this one. I think it was on the PlayStation 2. Number one are going to be Ratchet and Clank 3. 
Especially in the country, as said many times before, is you have played a lot with friends and you have played a lot yourself with it. Uh, it is just a really fun, interesting, amazing game. Uh, the storyline are amazing, the, the mechanics are amazing. Uh, it is actually one of the only games that I played play through the storyline or whatever you call it. I think it was four or five times. Uh, actually, the first ever game I had done that, and that says a lot. That game gave me a lot of fun in my younger days. It is still stuck in my head in some some way. Uh, I think it was a whole HD remake has been released, but I never bought it. I doesn't have a PlayStation Three at the moment. Uh, yes. The other ones in South had on. I have uh, the fourth one, but anyway, it was one of my favorite games of all time. Hope you liked this video. It was all for me today. Uh, all these games is, of course, many of you may say uh, all of this game is weird, a weird list or something like that. Um, as I say, this is basically based on much fun I've had on it, how much time I spent on it, and sometimes it was just the mechanics, the storyline and everything, but all of these games are my favorites at the moment, they, they could be replaced in the future, uh, so yeah, that's all today folks, hope you liked it, hope you next time.